this, this is, is narc. This is arc analysis. This is arc analysis. Arc analysis. Number eighty-two. This is our eighty-second arc analysis, and it's not called the. It's just assholes. Yeah, just assholes. Published by Europe Comics, written by Bram Olgood, and drawn by Micah Stahl. It all centers around two guys: Charles Atkins, Simon Kennedy. That's the, those are the only. I think those are the only names you need, right? They don't. They don't yeah, you you, you get you get a uh, caddy's names like first names. Oh yeah, the yeah yeah yeah. But no, you don't remember them because it's not about it's, them. It's just these two assholes. One's American, one's British, and they're just they game show buddies. Game game show hosts. So they've reached a level of riches and celebrity. They're both. That's right. They are both game show hosts. Yes, you're right. That only makes them more of, of assholes, which is great because it just systematically hole by hole. Like this, this book is really well paced out. Uh, I kept thinking in my head like this is what i wanted like this is the next logical step to sunday morning funnies like if we were getting these like when you're going into like 30 somethings and like 20 somethings like this is the next logical step or to bring you back into comics because this was amazing just you get it if you get it and yeah. you'd only get it if you were an asshole or you know assholes so yeah we both enjoyed this <laughs> I, I, I like i was gonna say i was gonna try and like no, it out, but I just I I loved yeah. it. I loved everything about this book. I loved the, I loved the writing. I loved the art. I loved the structure. I loved the way they broke up the chapters as each hole. Yes, so every it's every genius. hole is a new yeah. chapter. Yeah, so, Very, oh, so it's gonna be eighteen chapters, and there was uh, seventeen. Right, you're right, and then, which is uh, even, which even ingenious in that too. There's there's a sense that the the writer knew what they were doing and how they're gonna plan it out, yeah. and the simplistic nature doesn't take away from. Not complex themes, but the punchline, yeah. and I, f- I feel like it's so clean, so you get those punchlines even harder home. Yeah, so it's great. And oh, then it's great. there's like there's so much. Sometimes like the, excuse me, the 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 pages are full of like colors and stuff. Other times mm-hmm. it's a select few colors, and then other times it's just like all this negative space in like one picture. Yeah, and it just I don't know. I I love. It's not detailed, but it's nope. like. But it is. <laughs> but it is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because within that animation style or that kind of the way that the character draws, you can tell when like they're surprised or like they're laughing mm-hmm. at each other or like there's something in each other's teeth. Like they find a way to give you detail where it's very few line strokes. And the constant movement, because we're always in the golf car with these guys, is so great. Like you, there's it's always it's such a great page turner. Yeah. And the, the, again, the way you're talking about how they space it out, there's moments where they're just, you get the punchline to the joke as they're driving to the next hole. And then they set up the next hole with like, I think one of them, one of the guys doing his whole swinging <laughs> approach <laughs> at each panel. Oh, and then like, but I broke, I broke down my, all my notes are literally just the Royal boo, the Royal Marabou golf club is the name of the place. Right. And then the rest of the notes are literally just what happens at every hole. This is like hole one is this, hole two is this, and the rest is just us Lives. talking, right? Yeah, because yeah. <laughs> because like I don't know how much you want to give away, because it's, it's not really spoilers and stuff. It's just like because nothing really like there's like only a few holes that are like storytelling. Fair. The rest is just character, just interactions and development. Y- yeah, and it's stuff. it's a very good indication or instruction manual of how to be an asshole. Yeah, it is because there's a very good like in each hole like an a to z of like this is how this guy's doing it and this is how his friend is going to outdo him yeah so at the end the end you kind of wiggling like who's who's the biggest asshole it's like i don't know if you can decide they're both so yeah and at the beginning it was like they really made the americans seem like the bigger asshole and i was like okay and the the british guy's not too bad but then you realize like as it goes on he's just just, he's just more stuck up where the americans more in your face yeah (laughs) yeah and the 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 greatest kind of progressive is they're getting systematically drunk at each hole yes. and it, that shows like the the way that they become assholes gets worse and worse the further along they're drinking and the the closer you're getting to hole 18 which is amazing right because yeah. like you're saying they're kind of repressed and up like uptight in the beginning but it doesn't take long for them to break and kind of show their true selves and i think it's like once they start taking pictures with that uh the fan and, like, so funny. and the mom, yeah. and then they just go off. It's like, all right, these these are who these guys are. Yeah, that's exact. Yeah, that was the exact turning point for me. I was like, oh, the man, the British guy is 
an asshole too. I was gonna say a dickhead, but no, he's just a flat out because he's just like, oh, you can't tell your mommy. Like your mommy does any boyfriends? It's just like they're just talking so inappropriately to this kid. <laughs> and and the amazing and kind of the genius works with the art styling is her face doesn't change. Like it's the same sort of like yeah. straight yeah. laced face. Like she <laughs> just she understands or not. And they, they just do, they do that the amazing like uh, internet trope where they just do the close-up of that one face yeah. so it's like the biggest thing in the frame and it's like i'm rolling at this point like they yeah. they, they hooked me line and sinker with everything that they were doing so i'm gonna so I'm, I'm gonna go to my local comic book shop and be like do you have assholes because <laughs> i don't like i need to i want this book in my hand but i don't i don't know if it, i don't know if it's actually printed it might just be online only but we'll find out but even like the, the first hole right right they're talking about they're, they're not even in it it's just like the cat or the the guys that work at the golf club yeah that that came before the first hole and when i first read it because i read this like three times because i enjoyed it so much um like you don't even know where it's going right you just you see these four boys and like one of them is throwing a ball at the tree and like they're just doing dumb things yeah and then you find out like no no no, which which of them is figuring out who's going to be a caddy for these assholes and then the book starts so i thought it was a great lead in oh it's great because it it all just based around like this guy oh these guys are here like they they know who they are right the kids know who they are and like they paid me a thousand dollars to open the bar early, and then like it breaks the page. And it's like, and then he called me a pussy. <laughs> and, then <it's> like, <laughs> and then they show it later. <laughs> and then they show it later on. The America's just giving him a hard time. <laughs> You fucking pussy. <laughs> I love his the caddy. I love his opening panel and his last panel because his last panel is just. The, the after yeah. effect of everything and it's yeah. just it's him looking so sad like yeah. you can't you don't even get his face it's just his background but the amount of trash and shit that they've left in their wake is just beautiful like i love how much the writer understands the this little world that they've built because there's there's never an instance where they're not assholes <laughs> yeah no never never <laughs> they just get more and more open about it like <laughs> it's so funny like the last thing you with the bird <laughs> <laughs> and how far they go like yeah that's not, what I mean. not only that they did it but then they're like hey why not and then they're like, <laughs> click <laughs> yep and it's, that's it and again like what what could have been a moment that the assholes win you kind of get that moment of like okay like there's some sort of comeuppance in this situation but man what a, what a final hole it was great you know we you know what the craziest part about this book is um we're skipping away right to the end but or near the end but when they start having flashbacks like of their childhoods, okay. And it's like, oh, it's like, they, they start and, working shit out, yeah. and you're like, you're like, oh, they're good. There's, there's like, there's redemption here, yeah. And they just go, nope, no, nope. and they go, <laughs> <laughs> there's moments for redemption. Like, nah, I don't like yeah. who I was. I'm gonna yeah. be an asshole. Yeah, and like, they're like, nah, I don't like yeah, exactly what it was. And that that makes it even funnier because yeah, like, and oh, I love they they break that with like a thwack, and it's them just playing golf again. Like that breaks the back. <laughs> yeah. It's so good, man. Because it's, 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 it's almost like the writers like, no, these are real people. Yeah, it, they're it, real people. They have the history. They came up. There's a reason why they they feel the way they do about like this bird, for example. But it's like, but we're just ignore that because they're uh, assholes. A hundred percent. These are actual people that the writer knows or has <laughs> or has had to work with. I thought that's where you're going with it, but I was like, I could see writer being the caddy and be like, oh no, these guys are assholes. Just- yeah. Ask that's actually a good point. That's a that's a good point. I wonder if some of true. some of this stuff is so specific that yeah. made me roll. I was like, how did like who would think of this? Yeah, unless unless you went through the situation, <laughs> right? So <laughs> I wholeheartedly believe that these are real people that exist and names have been changed. And they say that in the beginning, like that's the tag for the the title. It's called assholes. Any resemblance to real assholes is purely coincidental. And that's usually, great, yeah. Usually, you put the disclaimer on so you don't piss off the people that you know who you're talking about, right? Yeah. So. Amazing cover too. <laughs> it's everything's about it is just is fantastic. Like you remember with the the one part of the caddy. Remember they asked him to go get his drinks. Right. He's like, okay, and he goes to get drinks, and then he comes back, and there's just like empty bottles everywhere, and he's just standing there with the drinks, and they've already driven off, and just, <laughs> it's just like, and he's just standing. It's so funny. It was like, uh, oh, <laughs> assholes, because you can always like they don't say anything. Like the no. I say they, I mean the. The, the people that work there but you can all tell just by how it's drawn like they're thinking these guys are assholes like and that that's an amazing thing about this book they never once mentioned assholes but you know like you're as the reader you're constantly carrying forth that name because both these guys are assholes yeah 
kids. And they're both stressed about things too. Like there's like we say, like at the end there's they're flashbacks. Men, there's, yeah, yeah, there's glimpses men, yeah. of like and they just keep pushing aside. Like, no, no, yeah. I'm here to play golf. Like the text, remember the text that the American gets? Yeah. He's in the bathroom. He's like, real life is happening. Yeah. It's- Consequences to their actions. And that's the thing. Outside of this golf club, you can tell the probably more fractured men that have to yeah. deal with the world. But in here, they kind of just want to be the kids that they are and joke about it. So they'll push it aside. But you see their vanity and their vapidity or va- vapidness and kind of their selfishness and all of their worst traits pop up. They're chauvinist and they're competitive against each other and the only saving grace is that they can laugh it off so mm-hmm. i don't know if they like each other it's just they may have reached like a tax bracket where no one else really wants to fuck with them uh, yeah i was just gonna say like it, because that's exactly true how much of this is actually just like showboating like they just yeah. they just want some company no matter who it's with and they just talk to they just talk to shit right because well, they never get real with each other they never have to they're just Yes and no, like there's flirts with like this could go real, but one of them just does an asshole thing, right? Like at yeah. one point, one of them is asking them how many, like how big's your house, like what's the square footage, That's and true. the other one's like holding off, it's like oh, no, nah, I'm not gonna answer, I'm not gonna answer. And he finally does it, like okay, which house, like how many windows do you have? He's like, well, oh, I have a, a house in this place, this place, this place, this place. Yeah. So like the level of I'm living a better life than you is constantly there, and they can't really enjoy the fact that they're probably each other's only friend or yeah. like realist friend. Yeah. But the amount of asshole things that they do to everyone and each other is so funny that you yourself, the reader, just breezes through that like, oh, these guys are flawed individuals that <laughs> there, there could have been a chance for redemption. Not nah, that. Yeah. And I hit the sand trap. And it's so good. Like I blew through this. I, the only, you know, what attracted me to this book. I never read it before. It was just the title. I was like, yeah. oh, it's a book called Assholes. And the, the cover looks kind of interesting. Let's just try it. And it's been, it's been on the, in our list. Cause we have a list. Anybody who listens to this, we have just a list. <laughs> of books that we want to get to at some point and it's been there for months i was yeah. like okay we'll finally read this one let's see what it's about i had no idea what it's about <laughs> i just went right through i was like oh this is so good i was just gripped it was just like i went i burned through it so fast that i was like yeah. oh man but it doesn't get old it's a great page turner but it's such an easy reread because you end up pulling yeah. stuff from the next read like i'm not going to read the letter for whole nine but whole nine is the meta attempt like that's the letter yeah but the reader, sorry, the writer was so con- cognizant of how far we could go with this that he was smart enough to break the fourth wall essentially and say, "Hey, the the production didn't want us to include what happens on whole nine. That's so yeah, that's and that's amazing, right? That leaves the the audience or the reader to think like, well, well, what did they do? Like in your worst mind, like they're they're taking a shit in something." something yeah but then it gets so bad like the one guy he's they're, when they're trying to distract each other when they're when they're making their swings near like in the the teens the teen right. holes right, right right that sounds bad but the, in the, in the, in the, <laughs> you could have just pushed through i wasn't gonna yeah. jump on that one no, but i yeah. don't jump i don't jump on teen holes Coke. no 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 you, don't let me say it um, <laughs> don't be an asshole on this asshole podcast but yeah no it, when they get to around there that's just like they're starting to distract each other with by doing things to just mess with their swings and it's like and it's like a one page long with like seven panels and it's, right. <laughs> it just gets more and more like disturbing like the i guess disturbing but just like like the, there's the dick pics there's the yep. poisoning drink i was like right. <laughs> and you seem to throw up yeah and i i appreciate that there's ranges to the level of humor that they use so we're getting dick and ball jokes easily like yeah uh, selfies but then it like it gets into like adultery and like yeah. uh classism and then uh race there's a couple like you're a little too tan and yeah. like, oh, like, <laughs> just flirting with how poisonous this dynamic and toxic this dynamic could be and you kind of laugh at all of it because it's really good like, yeah. it's really good like the dude fought to bring bug spray in order to poison his friend yeah <laughs> He didn't ask the caddy to buy it. Like he's like, no, I'm bringing this. I'm going I know who I'm seeing today. Like, yeah. I get to use this. At some point, I'm gonna make use of this. <laughs> it's probably to poison him. So I'm just gonna... <laughs> they also don't pull any punches. So you do, you will see a penis in this. For yes. This. Oh yeah. For, in the art. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yes, yes. A, because it's not super detailed. It's just yeah, hilarious. It's, it's, like, it's, it's, so it's like the Simpsons level of like cartoon or like South Park. <laughs> I just I like the detail of where the hair on his thighs start. Yes. <laughs> like that's thought of like that's like either that's a first hand experience or i know this guy who dropped his pants and this is what he looked like right like 
You keep so, convincing me. I think you, you're on something with the writer knowing like these guys personally. There has to be, or they're one of, or performed one of them. He has a friend who's an asshole. This is what they did to each other. And yeah, they did. Yeah, or he's one of them. That's yeah, yeah. Something going. yeah, yeah. But this hits too close to home. That is like that's too oddly specific. Like you went to the, <laughs> you smoking the cigar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, so good. I think and, the, the very last panel with the applause. It's like this is great, good show, good show. Cheer you. So I want to give more uh, hand claps and kind of shout outs to the artwork because as sim- simplistic as it is, and simplistic doesn't really tell the story. It's just very clean brushwork and like line work. The amount of emotion and kind of fun that the artist gets to have with this type of book. Case in point, like you were talking about uh, them trying to distract each other. But the way they show the paneling when he's smoking a cigar and how they break it up even smaller for the cough and then the loud cough sound, like there's so much sound and visual cues in this book within the paneling that like it's it's almost as close and like forgive me if you don't agree, but like it's so close to what I would want like a naked gun comic mm-hmm. book to look like. Mm-hmm. Because the writing is stronger than the sight gags, but the sight gags know exactly where to hit you in the frame and how yeah. much to show you in the frame that it's it's spot on. In the hands of somebody else, they would have gone too far. Like that that final hole, like it would have been a whole elaborate. Yeah. And you didn't need that much. You just need to kind of show, here's where the wings are. This is where we're going to put the beak. That's it, yeah. Very clean. Right? So funny you brought up Naked Gun because I just saw uh, like a thing of that online where he was He's trying to get information from the guy, right? And oh, giving him money. Yeah, and no, you said you, you said it to yeah, me. Yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a twenty. He's like, I was like, this, this is so perfect because if you're not paying attention, you miss, you miss it. Like, it's just so funny because the, the what they're saying is completely like normal, but right. the fact they're passing over around the same twenty dollars, <laughs> and and they they increase the trope of like. Uh, you say good guy, I say bad guy. Or like duck season, rabbit season, duck season, rabbit season. Yeah. And you know, eventually they're, those, those two are going to swap places yeah. and outdo each other. And one of them is going to outdo the other one. But in this one, they both outdo each other yeah. and put themselves back at the starting spot, which is yeah. taking that Looney Tunes joke to an nth degree that you only get if you understand the Looney Tunes joke. The genius in that, like yeah. the level of writing. So again, to talk about naking up with how much we're both fans of that, this this kind of book was like oh it's it's spot on with the tone like yeah it was right up thing. Yeah. And they, didn't, they didn't drag jokes out it was just like bang here it is here's the next chapter here's the next one. like those those some, some of those holes in the middle are literally like you're saying one page maybe 12 panels done 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 right. and, and then some of them are longer right but it's just like here's the here's the joke here it's not really important just joke 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 now some story joke 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 now some right. character oh man it's right and again another comparison would be i feel like shirtless bear fighter was going overboard, but intentionally. Yeah, that's a different type of humor, though. It's still really, really funny. It's just a little different. But, but their sight gags, they had to overdo it. Like, they had to mm. oversell it on the sight yeah. gags. Yeah, that's Even like South Park humor. They were exaggerating yes. to make there it fun. Go. They were exaggerating something real to make it ridiculous. I'm trying to think what... I don't know if there's a, car, a cartoon uh, comparison that's apt for this. But again, I would love this in a cartoon. If I got oh, this God, on an Adult Swim. Like every thirty minutes, it's just another hole with these motherfuckers. Or like fifteen minutes, I get a hole. That's it. And they just keep playing games. They're like, "All right, I'll see you next week." Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, like, uh, like Looney Tunes with the the yeah. uh, the dog and the the, the coyote and the dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> just checking check it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. man, I I was I was just looking to publish as an ebook under the collective imprint of Europe Comics. Um. So there's there's no hard copies of this i don't believe which is a shame because i'd wow. love to i'd love to own this book let's start have it in my hand and it was originally printed in dutch which is cool in in 2020 and then so those, are, those, those are the true assholes true assholes in Deutschland, not Deutschland, that's germany but in you know in dutch ones <laughs> good save i'm just yeah morning ralph morning sam yeah that's the one yeah you go i can't remember their names I, sam so. But that's the kind of thing that they just kind of check into golf and they just become they so leave all the yeah. worries behind and just just go go to who they actually are inside, right? Yeah, you know, that's to be great. At the very least, I want another comic of this. Well, what sport would you want to see them playing? I was gonna say hockey, and that's only because I was looking at you. What, what I actually want to say <laughs> is, <laughs> I'm thinking of like what something boring that'd be hilarious for them to get away with something. So like curling would be hilarious. Curling, because- yeah. 
I hate the sport, but to find assholes in it, you have to be such an asshole. But it has to be something that like kind of moves you and drives you. See, I was thinking tennis, but they're too far apart. It's a little too fast. Like I was on like squash or something. Like squat, darts. You cut. You you want to darts is actually pretty good because you're good. you're you're supposed to get drunk. You're supposed to get drunk and just yeah yeah exactly. Um, lawn, lawn bowling would be funny too. <laughs> yeah, bocce ball. Okay, you, you got me. Horseshoes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. And listen, although, you, don't you, wouldn't have 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 different, you wouldn't have different holes for that, but still, it'd be. But uh, that's what I was funny. thinking. Like, I don't know if you'd follow these two assholes or like let's do the lumberjack competition and you follow two lumberjack assholes as they go mm-hmm. through like this competition where you have to saw and carry like limber. Oh, like, yeah, you, yeah. The sports. The, the, it's just a uh, conduit, right? Like, if you want to make pun jokes about the sport, great. But it's really about what the assholes can get up to in the sport. And it doesn't matter the sport if you have good assholes. It could be Dodgeball. Thinking of the movie Dodgeball, where they're both kind of assholes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the movie's That's great. That's true. So, it's just golf was nice because it broke it up into the chapters of the different holes, right? So they're going place to place. So Don't, don't get me wrong. This is genius and ingenious. Yeah. And it's us trying to do... Coke and dang pitch a uh, next asshole. Oh, I just, I, the whole time I was reading this, I'm like, God, I wish I had thought of something like this. This yeah. is so simple, but so, yeah, so good. good. So, so good. good. Anyway, baseball, here, baseball you could do. Baseball, yeah. It's, it's, it's just not two people, right? So you got to be like. But you could have two assholes within the team. That is, that's amazing. Or you could have an just asshole. Them. It's just basically, you know what you could do? You could have them and it's just the dugout. And people rotate in and out, right? Very true. Uh, my idea would be you could just have one team that's an asshole, and they just keep inflicting it on the yeah, other yeah, team. Yeah, yeah. So you go around at each each base and each position of like how they're just being an asshole to the other team. Um, but again, yeah, I, I I don't think you can stop with this as long mm-hmm. as there's a sport you I, can find a way to asshole. I gotta find out more from this writer because we and, want more and artists. I want this combo, but we'll have to look that up. Anyways, we rate these on a good or bad basis: boom for good, bad for bad, and whoosh. What do we just read? <laughs> were you not listening to us? Yeah, we're not listening. To us. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Cause it's so. I was gonna skip that part because it's clearly we love no, this thing. But don't, don't skip tradition. No, exactly. Especially Maybe on the 80, 82nd. We've almost caught up to the our actual episode numbers. We're on like eighty nine of that. Now we're on eighty two of this. You'd be an asshole to skip our rating system. So don't do it. Okay, I'm gonna do. Next, I'm going to next time. <laughs> Unless we're reviewing assholes again, it doesn't yeah. make sense to. This would be the one to do it. And do it I again, like, an so we got eighty two to do it like at like a hundred eighty two. Yeah. Well, so right. we've never read this before. Let's just, <laughs> <laughs> just be assholes about it the whole time. No, the next time we review, we're just doing a line reading. So you pick <laughs> yeah. one guy, and I'm picking the other guy, and we're just we're going. There. <laughs> Who doesn't have a British accent? Yeah, we're, we just, I can be the British guy. <laughs> say say nut butter in a British accent. Nut butter. <laughs> he never says that, but that works for me. Uh, <laughs> Say stop, stop, bloody stop. What is it? God damn it, Chuck, you deaf fuck. <laughs> it sounded more like, I don't know what that was. It was like an amalgamation of like Irish. I couldn't, I didn't know what that was. I apologize. <laughs> that was weird. Somebody's offended, but if you haven't been listening, we were reading assholes. So, yeah. you know, get over it. Pick up this book because this is a hard recommend if you oh, can find it. Easy. Yeah, yeah. I got to find a hard copy.